purpose of ashram it's almost like a school talking of school i'm also very happy that we have teachers from silver oak and their representatives and glad people in pedagogical fields are also now leaning towards they have always been spiritual but then what we were missing is actual action what do we do with the spiritual heritage that we have from our ancestors is it enough to recite shlokas you may understand the meaning of shlokas out of 100 perhaps one person might understand but what is its relationship its importance in our day to day life that is very sadly missing from amongst our people abhyasis are at a great advantage since they are able to feel what the shlokas are trying to convey but if you read the shlokas and relate your own experience then you will be able to appreciate the genius the intellect and the wisdom of puja babuji maharaj that how without reciting a single shloka he is able to create profound states of consciousness day after day day after day in us nothing is forced upon us whenever i have conducted individual sittings meditation face to face with one single abhyasi or whenever i am sitting alone and trying to transmit world over what really happens i would like to share that with you today i'll try my best to explain so that once you understand how it works maybe you'll cooperate more for example when there is a bandara and i'm giving a sitting transmission is given to all equally but does everyone benefit equally does everyone have the same experience does everyone absorb transmission to the same extent not at all out of 100 for example maybe 10 or 20 abhyasis will absorb immediately and when another 10 or 20 person are just struggling with meditation and they reflect why am i not experiencing something profound they become remorseful at an individual level perhaps and in this state of remorse expressing this remorse to the great master somewhere the heart opens up and they begin to receive transmission in gusto minority of individuals who are not able to receive this transmission or grace the heart because of whatever reason temporary or chronic temporary because sometimes when you are going through some emotional turmoil someone has passed on in your family or someone has failed in exam in your family or someone is sick in your family sometimes we remain preoccupied with such worries and that also diverts us from opening our heart so most of the time is spent in cleaning such individuals parallelly those who are ready to receive deserving souls who have opened their hearts in absolute surrender 
they don't need much cleaning. There is a next level where minus little bit of cleaning is required, but their own self remorsefulness will open that up. There is another level of abhyasis. They must be clean, and this is sometimes the majority of us. So prior to coming for group satsangs and prior to taking individual sittings from preceptors, it would be worthwhile if you can do your own cleaning. If you want to take real advantage of group satsangs with master. <laughs>